Ogni violenza inferta alla donna è una profanazione di Dio nato da donna. Dal corpo di una donna è arrivata la salvezza per l'umanità. We all know very sadly that sexual violence has been a common feature of conflict for all of human history effectively. And while we might have hoped that the 21st century would see a reduction in the instances of sexual violence in conflict, we haven't. For every woman who comes forward to report sexual violence in the midst of a conflict, it's estimated that a further 10 to 20 cases go undocumented and unaddressed. In 2023, continued recourse to military rather than diplomatic and political means led to displacement on a significant scale, exposing civilians to heightened levels of sexual violence. We've seen this across the globe in Afghanistan, the Central African Republic, Colombia, Democratic Republic of Congo, Iraq, Libya, Mali, Somalia, South Sudan, the Sudan, the Syrian Arab Republic, and Yemen. In Rome, the British Embassy to the Holy See and the World Union of Catholic Women's Organizations put together a panel discussion to raise awareness to sexual violence as a weapon of war. The keynote address was given by Nyota Mapendo, a young albino woman from the Democratic Republic of Congo who is a gender-based violence survivor who recently met Pope Francis during his trip to the Democratic Republic of Congo. conference highlighted the need for a stronger global response to this horrific crime and the crucial role played by religious networks in supporting survivors. For me here at the Holy See, there is an important link here, which is that the faith-based organizations are the ones on the ground dealing with the victims, providing support for the victims, offering a future to the victims who appear to have lost not only their own dignity, but also their place in their communities. And so what we wanted to do with this conference today was actually bring governments who are seeking to address this issue and seeking to stop the problem at a sort of strategic level, together with people that are addressing victims of conflict mm -hmm. at the grassroots. media has a vital role in raising awareness to sexual violence in conflict zones and a moral obligation to shed a spotlight on the sufferings of the innocent and the most vulnerable. But in today's divided world, where the words truth, war, and breaking news are all overutilized, it's easy to feel cynical, overwhelmed, and helpless at times, with too many conflicts and problems happening all over the world all at once. How does one look at the world through the eyes of Christ? There is evil in the world, and from evil comes violence, wars, and everything that leads to division. What can communication do to defeat evil? My opinion is that Christian communication should try to overcome evil with goodness. This is what we have tried to do today to listen to testimonies, to see evil and know how to discern it, but also not to surrender to the fact that evil is inevitable, which would mean surrendering to the devil. We have learned a lesson from those who work in the field to defeat evil with goodness and thus defeat war starting from ourselves. How is peace built? Starting from our hearts. How is goodness built knowing that we are also marked by original sin and therefore we must fight within ourselves and in the world to make goodness prevail? It is not easy, but communication can weave communion. Communion can weave goodness. This is our task, to weave back the unity of humanity, to weave back the unity of goodness and understand that evil exists 
but we should not surrender to it. Capire che il male esiste e non e non arrenderci al male. Communication can weave communion, and communion can bring about a concerted action and awareness that is urgently needed to prevent sexual violence and to tackle the structural root causes that perpetuate these crimes. Until this evil is eradicated, we shall join Pope Francis in praying for its end. La violenza sessuale sulle donne, purtroppo, una realtà generale e diffusa dappertutto e utilizzata anche come arma di guerra. Non stanchiamoci di dire no alla guerra, no alla violenza, sia al dialogo, sia alla pace.